Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully this is Tuesday of week six for you. Um, uh, hopefully you'll be getting this today at the Tuesday book swap, uh, unless something terrible has happened and uh, the pandas have risen up and taken over the world or something. Either way, uh, hopefully, well, hopefully that hasn't happened. So yeah, hopefully you'll be getting this today and then from tomorrow we can be using this um, to help do a bit of uh, more guided learning. So, um, yeah, so today, uh, writing the short story, uh, as I, I was filming this uh, earlier, and then I realised uh, that all the stuff I should have talked to you about um, today, yesterday, so time has become a loop again. Either way, hopefully you've got an idea of the things that you are going to be writing about today. And if you don't, go back and watch the second video from yesterday, uh, in which I tell you all the things I started telling you in the first version of this video. Yes, so hopefully you already know what is going to be happening in your story. If you don't, go and watch that video for some ideas, or if you've just got great ideas and don't need to watch videos, don't, then don't. You can just think about the writing of the story itself. Now, because um, in, in class, if we'd be writing stories or anything like that, we would have done a fair bit of prep over possibly even a number of days, might have been done a bit of drama, uh, things like that, as well as, you know, uh, making a plan, either in pictures or short sentences, um, for the story. Uh, so uh, this is more about what we'd like the story to look like uh, on the page. Um, obviously, we want the handwriting as neat as possible. Uh, letters on the line, very important, letters on the line. Uh, finger spaces between each word, and that is literally the, a fa space of one. If you can get two fingers in, it's too big. If you can, can't get one finger in, then it's too small. We want lovely finger spaces. Um, we want the letters that have tails, with uh, uh, the P's and the Y's and G's uh, under the line. Um, and we want the um, the tall letters, the, the H's, uh, the D's, the B's to be almost touching that top line. And all this is, is reasonably basic stuff, but it's worth keeping in mind. Um, uh, and and uh, yeah, neat even handwriting, obviously punctuation. Uh, we want the, the full stops at the end of lines, unless of course it's going to be a question or an exclamation mark. And hopefully as this is probably really an exciting story, you may well be using lots of exclamation marks. Um, we haven't really gone into much detail about using speech marks or things like that, but I know some people have started to try to do that. And if you are going to use uh, speech marks to, to show when a character is speaking, you do speech marks before the thing they're saying uh, starts, and you do uh, closing speech marks when they stop speaking, and often would then say, said the bird, or shouted the bird, or shouted, uh, or, or screamed, or whatever, whispered. Um... And whenever you use speech marks, you start a new line for that sentence. Uh, it, it, I know that some of you are starting to use sort of dialogue speech in your, your work. Don't use too much of it. Use it sparingly. Uh, otherwise, you might get a whole page of just he should. He said, she said, they said. Um, and that's effectively a stage play, a radio play. We don't want that. We want lots of uh, uh, lovely uh, descriptive words, uh, lots of adjectives, um, adverbs. Um, really get that really interesting language there. Um, make it really uh, scary or exciting, all those kind of things. So uh, what else would we say? Um, if, if people make a mistake, if people make a mistake, just cross it out neatly with one line. Uh, don't try to scribble it all out or rub it all out, then it looks terrible. And also it's really useful to look at your own mistakes um, uh, when, uh, uh, when you've made them so you can go back and see where, where things went a bit wrong. Uh, so for spellings, uh, obviously we want everyone to be using their phonics as best they can, and some some sounds uh, like or has like seven or eight different ways of making that sound. Uh, but often things like a's or the 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 a or the e or the o, there's lots of different ways of making it. Have a best guess as to which one it is. If uh, you don't get the right one, it doesn't matter. You're using your phonics, and that's the main important thing. It's much better to have a go at a word you don't know how to spell from memory. Um, and you get it a little bit wrong, but use your phonics than just sticking to the words you know how to spell, because then you have a very basic, often quite boring piece of work with no really challenging, interesting words uh, in it. Uh, so yeah, so that's the kind of stuff we'd like to see. Um, capital letters at the beginning of uh, each sentence, obviously. Uh, capital letters for names, uh, proper names, pro you know, proper nouns. Um, maybe you've given the bird a name, maybe you're just gonna call him Bird. Uh, if he's going to be called Bird, then you know that needs that capital B. So yeah, I think um, uh, hopefully you got all the story mapped out yesterday. So today you can really start thinking about ways of making uh, really, really interesting on the page, really exciting. Think to any uh, really interesting or exciting books you may have read or heard. What kind of words, what kind of language did they use? How can you make this interesting for the reader? How are you going to get the reader involved? Sometimes asking questions like what, what do you think is going to happen next um, can be a nice way of doing it. Uh, some some sort of definite bits of danger, 
um, uh, is a good way of doing it. Um, something unexpected happening could be another a nice thing to get in there. So I suppose, oh God, that's, that should have been for yesterday. I'm telling you this now, it's too late. Uh, you planned it yesterday. Um, so yeah, this is more just about the mechanics, 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 mechanics of the writing. So as neat as you can, um, the best spellings you can manage. Um, Anything else? Anything else? I think that's mostly about it for the actual writing of the story uh, for today. Don't worry about going back and checking it. We'll think about that uh, tomorrow. We'll think about that tomorrow. Um, yeah, so there you go. Okay, hopefully that's uh, laid out some expectations a bit better. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Take care. See you when we see you.